Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on creating a whiteboard in Flash. You might have seen some of these whiteboards on either in some kind of drawing application or educational sites, things like that. They're seen all over the place. Nothing new here. So what we're working with right now is our finished product. And if we click a red swatch, then we click a brush size, we can start drawing. So I don't know, that's something. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but <laughs> We change up the color, change up the brush size. We're gonna get we're gonna get a little smaller stroke. You know, if it was used for an educational site, you'd be doing like some kind of equation x plus two. Of course, my handwriting is terrible. Um, well, you get the point. Let's go ahead and start making this. This is gonna be a two-part tutorial. The first part's gonna be the design and getting all the movie clips and things set up set up on the stage. The second part will be the action script coding part of this whiteboard and how all that ties into it. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so here we are in Flash. We're going to go File New, create an ActionScript 3 project. The first thing we're going to do is come over to our stage settings and we're going to change this to 640 by 360. And that's just half a 1280 by 720. So we're going to hit OK. There's really no particular reason for that. The stage size, size could be anything you want. Just, I like those settings, so that's what I'm using. So once you get that all situated, and of course I fill, fit the window over here so I can see the entire document or the entire stage in the window, select the rectangle tool, and we're going to change our fill to a linear gradient. We're going to drag out a little box, like so. Let's go ahead and come over to our color palette. We're just going to spruce up this gradient a little bit to make it look a little bit better and not so. No, let's make it look better. All right. Let's bring this middle swatch down to a lighter color. It's closer to what we want. Now we want to grab the actual fill by just selecting the fill and clicking on it. We're going to come up to the gradient transform tool or I said full huh? gradient transform tool. There we go. You want to click or you can use the keyboard shortcut of F. So hit F on the keyboard or select it from your menu and we're just going to rotate that around and that looks pretty good. All right. Well the first thing we want to do so we're going to want to turn this into a, since this is going to be our toolbox, we're going to convert this into a movie clip that holds all the other swatches, color swatches, and pin tips and things like that. So just highlight everything by double clicking it, go modify, convert to symbol. And we're going to name this toolbox underscore movie clip. And the reason why I named the B with a capital letter, that's called camel case. If you're not familiar, first first letter of the first word always starts lowercase, and then every word thereafter starts with a capital letter followed by lowercase letters. And underscore movie clip to let us know that's what kind of um that's what kind of symbol it is. So if I just copy this actual to toolbox underscore movie clip, go ahead and copy that because we're going to need to paste that as the instance name. Just because you named it Toolbox Movie Clip and that's what it says in the library doesn't mean you can't give it an instance name. And an instance name is going to actually refer to this particular item in code. So it's important that we name this something that we can remember and use. So we're going to name it the same thing, Toolbox underscore Movie Clip. All right. Now all we got to do is essentially do the same exact thing, but inside of this toolbox, if we double click, You'll see we've gone from our main scene to our toolbox movie clip. We're inside of that now. And if we create another layer, we can start drawing out. We can start drawing out color swatches. You can have as many color swatches as you want. You could have you know, the whole rainbow if you really wanted to, but you know, that'd be a lot of work. Right now, we're just going to do three color swatches. And I didn't select it the first time, the, the correct color, so I need to come back and do that. If you need to change the color, all you do is just click the fill, come up.
come up to your paint bucket and select the color like I did. Now to speed this process up a little bit, I'm going to double click so make sure I get the fill and the stroke. Hit Apple C on my keyboard or Control C for copy and paste. Now we got another swatch. And we're just going to line that up like so. And then we're going to paste again. And now we have a third swatch. We're working with the RGB color values. Um, this is our primary swatches here. Again, you can have as many as you want. So we're just going to change these up real quick. Select the fill. Change that to green. And same thing. Select the fill. Change this to blue. Looking pretty good so far. So on to creating the actual pen the actual pin tips and the size of that. Let's go up and select the oval tool and let's go ahead and put this on a separate layer too. Create a new layer. Create the oval tool. That's about uh, that's a little bigger than 10 but we'll leave it as is. And actually you know what I'm gonna make a really big one. And we'll put that in the code later. We'll make a really really big pin tip. That's even bigger than 10 that you saw before in the example and what we're going to do is just copy before we copy let's make a color change this make it all black select the fill make it all black now if we select the fill and the stroke hit copy paste what we can do is we can come here and select the free transform tool which is Q on the keyboard we can just shrink this down a little bit. And it looks, let's go a little smaller. All right, copy, paste. Oops, that was copy, cut, copy, paste. There we go. And we're going to drag this over here. Line this all up a little better. I'm just eyeballing it right now. You can nudge things in place and play with them and make them real precise. I'm just trying to get us close. So take your time. Make it look real nice if you want to. We're going to say this is like a 20 pixel pen tip. I don't know if that's the exact size, but you would have to play with it and, and actually run the tool tip to you know, get a good measurement of how big it should be. But we need to change the color of the actual font in order to get the text all I did was select the text tool click and then we have text so if I come back out now we see that this is size 20 if we if we quickly copy and paste this we can drag this one over nudge it up into place copy paste it again and actually we need to make this circle a little bit smaller so if we hit Q on our keyboard, that little keyboard shortcut, we're going to make this a little smaller drag it, line it up with the text go back to your selection tool, double click inside we're going to change this to 1 and we're going to line it up, just make it look good and change this to like a three. And 20 can stay as is. So if we zoom out, we're gonna get we're gonna get this toolbox that has now has three different pen sizes. And again, you can make as many pen sizes as you want and three color swatches. But the problem here is we still can't reference this in action script. That's going to be a big problem. So we need to turn these all into movie clips. And once we turn them all into movie clips, we will be good to go. So if we double click, select modify, convert to symbol, we're going to name this red swatch underscore underscore movie clip we're going to copy that hit OK on the keyboard we're going to give it the same instance names that way we can recognize it in action script by 
calling red swatch movie clip. We're going to do the same right here. We're going to go to modify convert to symbol. And we're going to name this green swatch underscore movie clip. Copy that. And we're going to paste that in our instance name. And last but not least for the colors, we're going to modify convert to symbol. We're going to name this blue swatch underscore movie clip. Apple A highlights that or control A highlights the whole entire thing. Apple C, control C if you're on a PC and then of course to paste it in the instance name, blue swatch movie clip. So those are all done. Now let's go ahead and do our pen tips real quick. Oops, we're just going to select go with the pen tip and the text. You select the pen tip the actual circle by just double clicking twice and you're going to select the fill in the stroke and then you just hold down shift and select the actual text itself the 20 and you'll highlight everything then what you're going to do is you can just right click right here and choose convert to symbol or you can go do it the other way by using the modify menu up here if you right click that's a little bit easier we're going to name this pen size 20 underscore movie clip and now that we have that we didn't copy it so we're gonna have to retype that underscore movie clip there we go a little bit of fumble fingers today I'm having a hard time typing all right we're gonna do the same thing here convert to symbol pin size three it's always good to give things descriptive na descriptive names if you don't you'll find yourself you know rummaging through the library trying to figure out what's what and that could be kind of a pain if you have a whole lot of movie clips a whole lot of other things that you're working with so always give things descriptive names save yourself the headache because trust me it can be a very big headache depending on how complex your actual scene is. So we're going to zoom in a little more so we can actually select the circle. There we go. Now we're going to select, hold down shift, select the text as well. We had to zoom in so we could get in there and get it without just selecting the text. We're going to name this pen size one underscore movie clip. I right, copy that paste it as the instance name now you should be good to go if we come out look at that we have everything named and everything is good one more problem that here is that on layer two which we can name this swatches real quick on the swatches layer the problem here is that everything is on the same layer well if we hit distribute if we select the entire keyframe right here everything's going to be selected if we hit distribute to layers now it's going to break out everything that is on that f particular frame so we have blue swatch green swatch and red swatch and the actual swatch layer became empty because it put all those to a new layer so all right we deleted that now we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to select our pin tip movie clips real quick and hit distribute to layers that's going to give everything a nice name we can just throw our layer away because it is empty now all right now everything has a nice name to it um I can name this background real quick it's always important to name your stuff man i'm telling you, you can't can't preach that enough name things helps out a lot in the long run especially if you're developing with other people it's a big help all right there we go everything should be good to go now let's zoom back out let's fit this to the stage or to the window all right that's all there is to getting the toolbox portion set up now if we double click and come back to our main scene scene one 
we're now ready to start accessing this toolbox movie clip and then the swatches and pin tips inside of it with action script so in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and start doing that and that way you can actually start using these in combination with your mouse to start drawing and you know essentially making finishing up the whiteboard so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll see you next time